Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to create clusters in Power BI. So we learned how to create clusters uh, use in the scatter plot. We'll uh, explore the clusters a bit more in this video. So I've got the, let me just delete this. I had the scatter chart visual in focus mode. So let me click on that again and put it into focus mode. And then what I will do is I will again select, uh, so I'll select the GDP per capita and I also select the happiness score. Let me just make this summable because uh, otherwise it won't, the clustering uh, will throw an error. So uh, I've selected that and now I'll select the country. Let me just take this out again. So let's just select happiness score and then uh, let me go and select country. And you can see it's created a cluster and what you can do in Power BI, just go and see, you see the three dots on the top. You can just go and say automatically find clusters and you can say create three clusters and go okay. And it has created three clusters for us. So let's just get out of the focused mode. And uh, Let me just create a table. So let's just select the table visual. And what I'll do is I'll select a few things. So I'll select the economic GDP. I'll select the family. I'll select the freedom, generosity, happiness rank, and I'll also select country. And what I'll do is on this one, let's just put at, what I can again go is go to the three dots and say automatically find clusters. And it will say, okay, and you could probably say, uh, let's just have uh, six clusters here and hit okay. So what it does is it adds those clusters for us. Let me put it into focus mode. And you can see it's, it's giving us six clusters. So uh, let's just go back and filter on cluster six, for example. Oh, so it's what it's done is it's basically just selected uh, um, or filtered for that specific country and not the cluster value. So let me just go and uh, get a slicer and uh, I'll just put a slicer. So it's giving me six. So I, I'll put a cluster on, I just want to see six. My guess is it should give me two or three countries on the top right. Let's just convert it into a bar chart. Oops, let's just go and convert it into a slicer only. And uh, hit cluster six. So you can see, oh, it's, it's probably done it in a different way. Let's just click on cluster five, cluster four, cluster one. And uh, I'll just, clear it. So as you can see, so cluster one is probably the values on the top. And then cluster two is somewhere in, in the middle cluster three is a lot of cluster four. So I don't know how it's gone about and created it. From what I'm aware of, it uses a k-means method to do the clustering. But uh, yeah, it's 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 an interesting feature where you can cluster your data and um, yeah, I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.